All right, I'm sitting here with uh, Regine and Katie from Victoire Boutique at their Westboro store. And uh, just going to ask them a few questions about uh, this beautiful clothing store they have. So Katie and Regine, I'd like you both to answer what qualities of the other do you think contributed to the success of Victoire? Um, well, we often talk about how like Katie and I have like twin brain. It's like a phenomenon that like twins describe as like having like the same thought. Um, and we really do, like we have the same thought and the same vision from Victoire, but we almost always come at it from different perspectives. So, and so different that sometimes we're like, I'm mad at you, we're in a fight, and we're saying the exact same thing. So like anyone who hears it is like, but how could, but you guys are saying the same thing. It's like, no, no, whatever she's saying is not, and then an hour later we're like, yes. Yeah, and then the fine. end it's like, it's like a better Product. solution, a better whatever, because we came to it from like the opposite sides that it's like more holistic in a way kind mm -hmm. of like we see like all angles of it uh, so i really like how like honest katie is. <laughs> so it means that like it's great like katie um you know has if you come into the store and you're shopping and you try something on um katie will never bullshit you <laughs> you know like <laughs> yeah like if it looks good katie will tell you like you look super hot if it's not like katie will point something else out that'll look better and clients appreciate that yeah <laughs> exactly i think something else that everyone has a big 12 but like vision you definitely personifies like we love ottawa and like vision's lived here her whole life she's lived right downtown her whole life and like this is your city you know so like mm -hmm. when things come up or when people are like Oh, whatever snarky comment, Ottawa. It's like, oh, you're talking about my city, man. Like, oh. don't talk to me like that. No, I take it really personal. <laughs> so, I love Ottawa, yeah. So I think that's a really great quality and something our customers like. We're really enthusiastic about where we are, and and it's great. Like with our web sales and like our web store, we get these glimpses into people, customers in other cities. And it's nice to know that they're coming to Ottawa to do their mm -hmm. shopping, you know? Yeah. Yes. What do you think would contribute to your success overall? And uh, I mean in, you know, proximity, where yeah. you've located the stores, the communities that you've involved yourselves in. I think we've been really successful at creating um, a really friendly and welcoming vibe into the store. Like people often describe it as like walking into someone's like apartment or house or like your best friend's house and like we really, really foster that like with our employees as well like mm -hmm. it kind of feels like you're going to visit a friend and customers often stay for like half hour 45 minutes an hour just chatting or telling us about like oh I got that dress and I went to that wedding and like I hooked up with so-and-so or this <laughs> oh, happened or whatever and like it ha like yeah it has that like real family vibe which is great yeah um, we also really try and carry lines that no one else um, does in the city and that have something special about them like it's not just whatever, there's like this little edge or this little something special that's going to make you unique. Yeah, unique yeah. and really remember it. And we do everything in really small numbers, so you are spending a little bit more on a higher quality item, but no one else in the city is going to have it. Yeah. So from, from the really get-go, we really wanted everything that you look at and touch and try on to feel like it's a treasure and it's like so special. And we know that Victoire finds it really important to have a lot of Canadian content in um, your jewelry, in your clothing lines, and your designers that you choose. But I do notice there are certain lines like Mink Pink that's from overseas mm -hmm. as well as in the States. Now how do you make those connections with those other designers that aren't Canadian? Um, well the reason why we do some pieces that are not Canadian is price point. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive to produce things in Canada and, uh, and it makes a bigger sales ticket on the rack. But not all of our customers have that entry position where they can spend more on a dress. So these pieces that are made overseas are more inexpensive. So they're a good gateway into the Victoire shopping yeah. experience. Um, so we'll always have some of it. We try and keep our Canadian content at about 85-90%. Um, yeah, as far as like how we come about finding them. Like we go to New York or Las Vegas. Um, at least twice a year and so we're always I mean on the internet too we're always like on blogs and like reading magazines. <laughs> Great so, networking tool. Yeah we always have our eye open for something that um, will be accessible to kind of like you know just if you don't have the money to invest in Canadian design right now it's still like an entry level purchase and then maybe the next time you'll buy a Canadian designer. Could you describe to me your, your dream client? 
Oh, yeah, we were like, we were gonna try and think of spring story about this earlier, and we could just think of Dolly Parton <laughs> and Oprah. <laughs> Mostly because we want to meet them. <laughs> um, so maybe that should be yeah. the answer. <laughs> well, you do describe the call as a store that people get really into and feel very comfortable in. So of course you'd want your dream client to be someone you could sit down yeah, with. Yeah, just with. chat with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Dolly oh. Parton, let's say. Who, oh what gosh. would you dress her in? I think she would like some of like uh, the Sessi dresses, which yeah. is a, a local design that we carry. She uses all uh, vintage fabrics, so they're all like pretty much one of a kind, and they really definitely sassy yeah, and cute. they have a sassy um, kind of a little bit retro yeah, like totally. 50s kind of look to them. So I think she'd be into how like girly, and they show off. Um, cleavage. I was gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> she'd probably have to make them custom for her. For sure. <laughs> but, uh, I think she'd do it. Yeah, that's a really good answer. Yeah. I think Oprah would like a lot of things too. I think she would really be into the buying small designers oh, that's yeah. made here, mm -hmm. and it's a tight knit community across the country, and we're really. You know, trying to make something happen in Canada. And do you have any Victoire fall fashion predictions? I know you don't follow trends, but in your own uh, style of designers. Yeah. For fall, we're definitely yeah. doing a lot of prints. Um, and they're these kind of so somber, geometric. Yeah. They're um, really cool. They're not like you think of prints. You think of something like loud and kind of or obnoxious. Or Yeah. But They're these are like really cool, like kind of creepy. Really look like something that's been in an attic for, oh, you know, yeah. 50, 60 years. Like cloak, like kind of coats. Um, a lot of sheer kind of overlays, so the dresses kind of look a little distressed or worse for wear and stuff. So it's gonna be a, a haunting season. Yeah. And then at the same time, the color combos have like a 70s feel yeah. to it a little bit. Yeah, like true. there's like rusts and orange mixed with blues and browns and purples, like these weird colors that you wouldn't necessarily put together, but that really kind of work. Um, there's a movement in fashion yeah. um, by using sustainable fabrics and practices. Do you mm -hmm. have any designers that... We do, we do a lot. Um, well, in general, anything that's made in Canada is more sustainable. It, it wasn't shipped from abroad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot stiffer um, regulations around environmental practices and production uh, practices. So anything that you buy Canadian is automatically like better. A huge step. Um, yeah. And then we have a lot of companies including and a lot in the jewelry too that do things out of recycled materials. So take an old man's shirt, turn it into a woman's skirt, or take an old man's trench coat and turn it into a skirt. So pre-loved is a great example yeah. of that. Um, yeah. Supiana out of Montreal. Mm -hmm. Yep. In the jewelry, there's Miss Dragonfly that's local. There's Steel Magnolias that's made in house. Um, there's um, we have we have a great designer from Montreal who uses recycled leather yeah. to make bags right. called uh, Brown Door. Um, and then there's like a, then for like the bamboo fabrics or the organic cottons, we have a designer named Maudlin and Joy, and uh, she's beautiful pieces. We're excited about having her. Um, and also, you guys do describe Victoire as more of an experience than a boutique, and you guys are big on your events. Do you have any upcoming events that you wanted to mention? The next one, um, just because we're taking a small break <laughs> um, until the baby comes out, but um, in October, we'll be back with a bang with um, one of our um, very well attended and well known, the vintage shoe parties, uh, which are crazy. Um, and this time we're combining it with vintage lingerie. Yeah. So Ooh. it's going to be really great. So, yeah. There's a great collection of pieces already been put together. Yeah, we've been and collecting it's... vintage lingerie probably for at least a year now, getting ready for this event. And then uh, Jamie from Aunt Olives as well has been collecting things for this. So there'll be a really wonderful selection of vintage it's lingerie. Very exciting. And then um, the two girls from Nashat Pate, they'll be bringing like boots and boots and boots galore. Wow. Yeah, and every size and style and setting up throughout the And the, uh, our blog always has updated of any of our events okay. or sales and same thing with our web store. So they you can always check there. Thank too. you so much You're for welcome. allowing us the zipper to come visit you and ask you these questions. Um, it's been great. We can't uh, wait for the October event and the new fall lines. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, Katie and Ocean. Thank you. Oh, great.